New here at 10, a 78 year old man brutally attacked in his family's backyard. Tonight, his family is speaking out and sharing the video of the moment it all went down in broad daylight. CBS 2's Chris Ty is live in Norridge with what police are saying about this attack. Chris. Joe and Erica, police say they have a person of interest. The family involved in this case say they think they know who was behind it. The person brazen enough to come up to the family home, slide open the back glass sliding door, and then attack that elderly man who just came outside to see what was going on. At 20 minutes to two, three masked men entered Vanya Corey's backyard last Friday. Watch as one opens a sliding glass door. They see her parents inside an image that sent all three running to exit that yard. Moments later, her 78-year-old father, Najat Batar, enters the picture. He was trying to see where did they go, like where, what's going on. Cameras track him as he walks behind the garage, where he says the three men savagely beat him. The security camera audio picks up the attack. Moments later, he emerged from behind the garage, bloodied, asking his wife to call police. How is your dad doing? Uh, thanks God, better than, you know, the first day, but uh, it's not easy. This is what he looked like in the hours after the attack that sent him in critical condition to the hospital for three nights. <laughs> He's now back at his daughter's home resting. Norwich police say they have a person of interest. The family also thinks they know who was behind it based on the voice and the walk of one of those three men. I heard the one, like some or one of them said, oh, open the slide door, open the slide door. As an investigation continues and a 78 year old heals, a daughter worries about what could happen if they were to come back as she relives the scariest Friday afternoon of her life. I saw my dad like blood all over his place. Norwich police did not want to answer our questions tonight, but they say if anyone has any information on this case to reach out to them. We're live in Norwich, Chris Ty, CBS 2 News. Boy, that's hard to see. Chris, thank you.